morning guys, so I'm in London today. I've got uh, two meetings and then I am seeing one of my friends. We do some shopping. So this is like a little vlog and also we're gonna try and do a come shopping with me. Um, and then when I get home, I can do like a little haul or something if I buy anything. Hopefully I buy something. I'm looking for some jeans, definitely. Um, but yeah, so I will bring you around with me. I'm just at Waterloo now. I'm just about to jump on the tube to go to Common Garden. So that's where um, both my meetings are. That's handy. And I might pop in to Zara and Mango in between the meetings if I've got time. So yeah. All the limits with you right now So watch your feelings The city screaming when I'm coming home tonight We're living quick in the world Gotta get it right now People talk and tell what you wanna hear now But they all disappear They will let you down So we better stick together Let's come whatever When I'm coming home tonight We're living quick in the world so I'm in Common Garden, well nearly, um, just walking to my meeting, I'm, I'm quite early so I think what I'm going to do is just do some editing in, um, in the cafe that we're going to because I was editing on the train so I want to finish that off, um, it's my Italy vlog which by the time that this goes up, um, that Italy vlog should already be up so go and watch that one after this if you haven't already. Um, at the moment it's looking like it's going to be so long, so we'll see. It feels so much more like natural vlogging in London. I just feel like it's more accepted here than it is like in Southampton where people don't really do it very much. Um, although I am getting a couple of weird stares, but hey hey. Oh, it's really hot today, it's like, it's like 20 degrees at least. So on, I looked online on the weather and it said it could be like up to 24 today, which is mental because yesterday was so cold, so annoying. I'm like roasting in this coat, but I just wanted to wear it. Oh, I should say. Um, so my coat is from Topshop. It's like a check mat. I will um, find a mirror and show you. Um, and then my top is just a white t-shirt from And Other Stories. And then my jeans and my mom jeans from Topshop. Um, and then yeah, I will do a proper mirror selfie so you can see, but I love this coat, it's so cool. And actually it's kind of perfect for today because it's really thin. Um, but yeah, I'm so done with not being able to wear my jumpers and coats. I just want to wear them like big fluffy coats. I'm so excited to go shopping. Just about to walk past Mango and Brandy Melville. Maybe I should go in Mango now. Or maybe I should go and edit. What to do, what to do. I never know whether I'm talking loud enough for these vlogs, but I don't want everyone else to hear, so I don't know, hopefully I am. So it's a mango. And we've got Brandy Melville there. Oh my God, that jumpsuit is so cool. Love that. Let's go in, eh, just quickly. See what they got. Okay, got stopped in Mango for filming. Why are shops so funny about it? I don't get it. Like, surely it's a good thing for me to show like what's in and stuff. Like, then people are gonna want to go. I don't get why they're funny about it. But anyway, so <laughs> next time I'm gonna have to be a little bit more discreet. Um, I was gonna show you what I was wearing as well, but security guy was security guy was getting angry, so. <laughs> No can do, I'll try another shot. But Zara might be more chilled. So yeah. Get it right now. I wanna push all the limits with you right now. So 
about your feelings to sit and scream and when I coming home tonight We're living quick in the world gotta get it right now People talk and tell Hey guys, so I have just finished up with one of my meetings um, and now I'm sat in Neil's yard in Covent Garden um, just doing some editing and myself a little smoothie um, I'm just editing my Italy vlog which is actually coming along really really well I'm really happy with it um, so the only problem is, is it's so bloody long <laughs> like I'm only halfway through and it's like an hour long so I think I'm gonna have to split it into two parts but we'll see but I'll show you it's so nice there. look it's so nice to be able to edit outside as well like as much as I do want um, some winter weather sitting here just editing is like really really chilled really enjoying it um, got another meeting in an hour so I might just finish off this last bit um, I've got to do and then I'm gonna go browse Zara and Mango properly and not film in Mango this time because I get told off <laughs> <laughs> About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away, this is what we wait. so messy and there's just like nothing in there like there's loads of stuff in there but there's nothing in there do you know what I mean like I don't know like there's quite a lot of basics and stuff like that in there and um, there's a cool coat which I got a clip of it's a bit like this but <clears throat> like more structured and like a brown color um, but I was actually in there for like five minutes I'm gonna go to the one um, near Oxford Circus instead because whoa that is corrupt so the place I'm going to is just a little cafe, um, but it's on Southampton Street. If you can see that up there, but the uh, name of the road is Southampton Street, which is cute, obviously, because I'm from Southampton. <laughs> oh, here it is. Here. Cool. So um, I will catch up with you when I finish, probably when I'm on the tube or whatever. Uh, on my way to Oxford Circus. So I'll see you in a bit. So I've made it to Oxford Circus and I'm outside Topshop. I'm a little bit early, so I'm going to go in now and do a bit of filming before I meet Lily. This is the shirt from my haul. Oh, and look. They've got the white coat. Size. That's cool. I like the buttons. Just 
small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Drive a faster car Lay my troubles to rest Blow the smoke through my cigarette City lights looking fine And I know this is my time now I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me No, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Drive a faster car I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me No, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town just got off the train it is 10 to 9 um, and I'm just gonna head home I am so tired I don't even know why like I didn't even have that long a day I'm just knackered today shopping was really unsuccessful to be honest it was so busy like there are a couple of things in mango that I did like but um, I just couldn't bother to queue up to try them on um, so yeah so a bit disappointing, I won't really be able to see much of a haul for you. So sorry about that. My little chauffeur picking me up here. <laughs> He's gonna hate me for that. Hello. Say hi to the vlog! <laughs> hey guys! Just got home. It's like half nine and I'm so tired. I'm just having a bowl of cereal for dinner so healthy um <laughs> i'm actually gonna pick this vlog up tomorrow um just because i don't know if i got much footage today to do like a daily vlog and also i think it's a bit boring today um so i'm gonna pick it up tomorrow i will show you what i got in mango uh should i show you now so the only thing i got with mango is this jumper because i really needed another cream jumper <laughs> 
Um, no, so literally it's just a really basic cream jumper. It's really fluffy. Um, so I got that one in medium and it was 39.99, which is kind of expensive, but Mango were doing 10% off if you signed up to their newsletter or something. So I got it for like 35.99, which is still quite a lot, but it's quite good, like thickness, good quality. So yeah, sorry. I actually thought I was going to have like enough to do maybe a whole haul video, but I didn't. So sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to sign off here for the night. Um... So yeah, I'll see you in the morning. Bye night. Morning guys. So it is Friday morning and I'm off to get my hair done today, which I cannot wait because my roots are so bad. Probably not showing up very well on camera, but it just looks greasy all the time because they're so dark. Um, so yeah, going to get my hair done with my hairdresser. Her name's Nikki. Um, I've been going to her literally since I was probably about eight or maybe even less maybe since I was like five I don't know a long time <laughs> um but I get loads of questions about like the color and stuff that I have on my hair so I'm gonna ask Nikki when I get um there and I will let you know what she says um yeah because I'm not 100% sure I've actually gone a lot lighter recently like for the summer and stuff I wanted to go lighter um and I told myself that when winter started I would go back darker but I don't want to really enjoy the lightness so um just means I have to get it done more often which is a bit annoying but oh well and if you want to book in with Nikki if you live near me um she's based in Charles Ford in the precinct um and it's d and hairdressing I think I'll double check that when I get there but yeah so I hope you enjoy oh also I just run through my outfit excuse the mess everywhere it's literally a really simple outfit I just chucked it on so I've got my cable knit cardi from Topshop which I am living in I literally love it I think it might be sold out but um I'll link some similar ones below and then I've just got plain white v-neck on from H&M and then these jeans are old Zara um and then I've got my jewelry on as normal so Monica Vinida Masoma little charm there my signet ring and then my Monica Vinida bracelet and then these are Monica Vinida rings as well and I'm going to put my watch on as well which is Larson and Jennings so yes I also get quite a lot of questions on like what I do for hair care and stuff so I use this shampoo um I wash my hair probably like three times a week and I use this twice a week um so it's the Red Ken Color Extend Blondage um, you can get it in a conditioner as well, but I just have the shampoo. I really like this one because it doesn't dry your hair out, and I have quite dry hair. Um, so yeah, this one's perfect for me. And then for conditioner, I'm just using this one. It's the Joico Moisture Recovery one uh, for dry hair. Like I said, I've got dry hair. And then for hair masks, I use these two. So this one is the Espar Pink Hair and Scalp Mud uh, Mask. Really like this one because it does target the scalp as well. Um, in the winter I get quite a dry scalp, so that one's really good for that. And then this is the Philip Kingsley Elasticizer, which I think like you'll probably know of. Um, it's just like a really good deep conditioning treatment that you put on before the shampoo. I also use this on my hair when I've just washed it, so when it's wet. Um, it's the Ordinary Gold Pressed Virgin Marula Oil. <laughs> um, you can use it on your skin as well actually. Um, I literally just put on a little bit on the ends of my hair just to keep it from getting all dry and split and stuff. Um, so yeah, it's really, really cheap this. I think it's like £6 or something and it's really good. I've just had my hair done. I thought I'd show you. I just had my um, fringe trimmed a little bit as well. But it's super blonde, which I love. Um, the colour does die down a little bit after you wash it, um, like the first time. Um, it's not as bright. But yeah. Um, I got exactly what she uses. Um, I've written it all down, so I'm going to get in the car and then I will sh tell you. Um, what she uses like all the um names of like the tint and stuff so if you don't live near me and you can't go to nikki then um you could um ask your hairdresser to do it so yes let me just get in the car and i'll show you I'm really happy with the color oh, i just feel like you know when you get your hair done you just feel like a new woman that's me right now <laughs> hey guys so just sat in the car um so i just thought i would tell you what my hairdresser uses 
Um, so basically it's a ratio of two bleach and one tint, um, apart from it's just bleach in this top section here. Um, but the rest of it is two bleach, one tint. Um, and the tint that she uses is Matrix and it's a high lift tint and it's in the shade Ultra Light Natural. Um, so yeah, that's that and then just like standard bleach is like the same I think um, in like all hairdressers. Um, and then the toner, which my hairdresser said, <laughs> my hairdresser said is more exp but and then the toner, which my hairdresser said is like the most important part. Um, it's also matrix. It's a mix of three colours, um, and they're all colour sync toners. So um, what it is is it's equal quantities of 10A, which is ash, 10B, which is violet, and SPA. Um, so yeah, it's like a pastel toner. Um, and then in terms of actually doing the highlights. Um, so Nikki, my hairdresser, does them really, really fine, but loads of them. So instead of doing like big chunks but less, um, they're super duper fine and there's a lot of them. And that means that my regrowth is a lot better. Like I don't really get really obvious roots. Like, you know, sometimes you see like big lines in like other people, but I don't tend to get that. Um, and I think that is down to Nikki doing it really, really fine. So yeah, that's definitely something to ask for if you want um, hair like a similar colour to mine. Obviously it will depend on... Um, the colour of your hair beforehand. Um, my hair is quite light, but it's not as light as this at all. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you because I've obviously just had it done. Um, I don't know, let me have a look at the back. It's kind of, yeah, here we go. It's kind of more like this colour. You see this like sort of dirty blonde, I would call it. Um, so yeah, that's obviously, like I say, it depends on your hair colour before you get it done, like in terms of what colour it will turn to. Um, but yeah. So I hope that helps because I've had a lot of questions asking me um, exactly what I get done to my hair. I've been feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else Skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out. So try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars. I wanna drive. I'm just doing some editing whilst I wait for the food to cook. Uh, just editing up this vlog, which I've been editing for so long um, in this vlog. So after watching this vlog, go and watch that vlog. If that made any sense at all. I've just put up a new picture on Insta as well. So go and show that one some love. And if you came from the vlog, comment telling me that you came from there or comment with a turtle. Comment with a turtle so I know you came from the vlog. <laughs> so this is the finished product. Kind of doesn't look very nice there, but I mean, it smells delicious. Hey guys, so it's a little bit later than the last time I spoke to you, but I was just editing my video, um, so it was quite boring. But I have now finished that, and it will be up by the time that you watch this. So yeah, go and check that one out, it's my Italy vlog. Um, but now I'm just gonna tidy up uh, like my room and stuff, and also pack for Paris. Um, I feel like I haven't really told you much about Paris, but basically um i am going to paris tomorrow which is saturday and then i'm coming back sunday night so i'm literally going for a day and night um, we're getting a eurostar which i've never done before so i'm quite excited um <clears throat> but yeah i'm going for the Ryder cup basically which if you don't know it's like a big golf tournament um in paris um so yeah i'm not a massive golf fan but uh, my boyfriend is like huge into golf um so i got him tickets for his birthday but i think i'm gonna do a separate vlog for paris um, which will come after this one. So yeah, I really enjoy watching people tidy up So I thought to do a little time-lapse of me sorting my room out Look at the beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car 
but I think I'm going to sign off here for today. Sorry the lighting is so bad in here. I've got down lights and they just give such an awful light. Um, but yeah, I'm going to sign off here for the vlog. And then I will pick this up again tomorrow morning to start my Paris vlog. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed. And I hope you didn't think it was too boring. I never know. like, Because I find this stuff really interesting to watch other people's. But when it's yourself, like you're like, is this boring? Like, should I be talking about this? Or I don't know. So yeah, hopefully you didn't find it that boring. Um, and it was good to know about like what I do to my hair and stuff like that um, But yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I will catch up with you next time. See you later. Bye